Welcome back to another step-by-step -step painting class. This time, Bluebell Woods and a little stream. It's a lovely painting to do, full of little details and lots of splashing colour. A chance to have a little go at playing with a small waterfall, adding lots of shade and dark into your painting at the same time. Enjoy your painting. I want to start planning the position of some bigger trees and I think I'd like a nice odd number and I'm going to have three on this side and two on this side so that makes five big trees which is a good number. I give them some lovely knobbly bumpy edges to them and I've sort of given them some little feet. Now notice the angle of the feet. Because this ground is going downhill, I've had them sort of cut off their little feet at a bit of an angle here to give that impression that the ground is sloping down. You can see that it's nicely loaded with colour. And I'm going to start far back in my painting and just at a nice angle, so not straight in, but tip your brush down at a slight angle and then just touch with the brush and leave a little imprint of the bristles. So this creates this lovely textured appearance of bluebells and you can cross over into the background a little bit too and this is where using the corner of your brush is very useful because you can just touch gently and these are in big drifts of colour so you can't see an individual bluebell you just see drifts of colour and I'm going to let this fade back into the into the colour in the background a little bit as well when I put the water in I can tidy up all these edges as well I'm going to be starting over on this side and all I'm going to do in here is I'm just going to work in a little bit of this colour and just think about how the water works. It needs to lay fairly flat. Now, as I said, I don't want to kill off all of my lovely yellow colour here. And I will be coming back with a fan brush and adding in some splash. But I'm just putting on the initial colours. Let the colours combine on the canvas. And we'll come back and we'll pull some of these other colours back in again. So this is a gentle process of just building up this water on our painting. Let's just do a little stroke along here and press and just let it flick. Press and flick. Small little rocks. Um, and I'm just going to tuck them on the edge of the river bank. Now remember the size of these rocks has got to fit in with the distance in our painting so you can't put anything too big back there but I'm just going to put in just a suggestion of a rock and maybe just a little bit of shadow here to suggest a bit of a river bank and not even a rock. So I'm just going to pull down and this looks very straight to me and I might just make that look a little bit less neat and tidy. How about that? just chewed a little bit away there of my riverbank maybe just pull a bit of that shape back into the water there it's important to make up the shape of things as you go along sometimes not to be too rigid but to look for little opportunities to make changes to your painting I think it's time for a nice rock I think there's a nice rock in that gap and I'm going to put him in right there and that's right between that little clump of bluebells in the foreground there he is there you go it's a nice little rock and I put some some little bits of highlight on top of that one Let me give him a little friend right next door
as you can see my painting's really coming on very nicely now and I'm left with this last little corner and a decision to make. Do I put a nice big rock there or do I carry on with the grass? Well the choice is up to you. I'm going to just carry on adding grass to this corner and keeping it fairly dark. I want everybody to be looking in this part of my painting and if I start adding another big feature here like a rock or more bluebells it's going to just take my eye away from that part of my painting. So it's good sometimes to let these corners be a little bit dark and a little bit under under sort of detailed and it keeps the the person's eye looking more towards the center of the picture i know i've still got to do some work on my trees and i've covered up the edge of this rock in error but that's okay i can easily put my rock back and then put a few highlights back on top but i'm going to just finish this corner off here with some nice grasses i'm going to add a little bit of green colour into this as well and I want some some sort of very pale green tones to run through this as well so it's a case of just playing backwards and forwards through your colours until you get it looking just as you want it to be my little grasses I've got some more of my sap green cadmium you know, a little bit of white on the side here and I've mixed it with a couple of drops of thinners and I'm going to use a liner brush here and I'm just going to roll my brush in through the paint you can see it's thin like ink and draw it to a nice point and you want to hold the brush really far back and just using the very tip of the brush just add in some of these little grassy details <laughs> 